This will be episode 97, cycle 1632 and on. Uh, I really hope that we would have had time to be able to get more auction included streams in. Because I want to finish this before 2023. But sadly, that is not the case. <laughs> Getting pushed back on November was bad. Uh, I do find it funny is that on the street, the Steam summary for this year, you can even see when Oni, when I wasn't able to play Oni in full sessions. It's like, oof, that hurts to look at. Also, yeah, make sure I have that set. Go. Normally I put that in text, I did not. There we go. Okay, Oni, time to boot. There's some major updates that have happened, especially as of recently, that I really, 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 really want to end up going into. But, I gotta finish this playthrough first. I'm very interested to see how the new laboratory room actually affects research, especially early on. Late game, it's pretty much the same. But early game, I'm kind of like, this could be very good. Oh. There we go. Waiting on everything to zoom. And let's make sure all the planets are loaded. Dean, have you finished your jam yet? You're on your way back, right? Yeah, you are. Cargo full. Good. Nope. We're having gaseous ethanol in here? I'm wondering. Hey. How? This is the thing that always confuses the hell out of me. <laughs> how did you... How? Where? Two hundred grams of ethanol. These... are putting five hundred grams. Where did it come from? <laughs> I don't know. Uh... Yeah, I got no idea. <laughs> it's just weird. Alrighty then. Sure. That's super weird again. Five pips. Come on, guys. <coughs> Excuse me. Come on, guys. Oops. Bring me the pips. Do that. What are our temperatures looking like over here? The giant pile of rock is still building up. Good. We're slowly draining the magma from this environment. It's getting there. Nice cruiser. We're still at five. Come on, dupes. Okay, good. I think they have them. Come on, dupes. Right up.
There's one. Oops, I saw you grab more. Come on. There's another one. We're at six. Come on, dupes. Hurry it up. I need to replenish this sanctuary here. Seven. Oh, we're at seven. Where's the other one? It's not in. Uh, Dupes, did you drop it? No. Huh. Weird. Doesn't buy them up on your surface? Ah, yep. Make sure you isolate that, it will spread. Now, I guess I can just leave it with seven. The dupes are gonna take their time and not. Nope. How are you bringing them? Guess not. Yeah, I don't know. My dupes are being derpy. As they always are. I mean, they're dupes after all. I expect nothing less. Ah, good. Okay, Sand, why are you in here? Guess he's just hanging out. <laughs> yeah, this will be an interesting case study and seeing how the efficiency works. It doesn't tell me what the efficiency is, it just says that there is an efficiency. Also, I believe... I think it's a geotuner. Ah, oh, it's way too big for that. Technically, it could fit. I could fit it right there. If you're gonna pass out, pass out down here where it's safer. You're passing out up here, like 129 rounds. Down here is 35. Eh, yeah, well. Also thinking that we finally move these. Well, this specifically. I should do is deconstruct uh, background buildings. Let's draw lines straight down. Ah, uh, so do it that way. Buildings straight down like this, and then I cancel every other. One. Actually, no, because the vent's gonna fuck it up. Um, yep, go get down there. What I have to do is I need to finally connect this rocket platform with this rocket platform right here. And then properly scoot this down. It actually needs to be right here. Which weapons is S29 last? Yep, it is. 
you didn't beat him beforehand, that's going to be rough, dude. <laughs> Your Terraria Adventures is going to be a hell of a lot harder than it needed to be. Nope. Uh, that was a weird bug, but okay. Oh, Steve. Animal lover. Don't have... Damn it. <laughs> if you're going to go for animal lover, I need branching on you. Oop. Why? That's fair. Mectophobic. No. No. Sorry, Steve. You, uh, you have a great perk, but uh, I don't have interest in branching. And you can't dig, so you're even less palatable. Ah, damn it. Could have been a good dupe. Could have. Oh well. How goes cleanup? Uh, it goes. <laughs> Not well, but it goes. That's so much polluted oxygen. All the green. Oof. That's a lot. How's cooling going? Eh, it's doing okay. 38. Next is an 8.7 cycles. Good. Yeah, that actually works. Just be very careful. You only get to do it once. <laughs> Uh like that much for engineering. Uh skills. Oh, you're not there yet. One skill point away. Uh, you need ranching and green, really. Uh, you know what? There you go. Everything else is working. Yes. There we go. Zero seven. You should do a for the worthy playthrough. You'll have fun. <laughs> if you've never heard of that, then go look it up. I'm super tempted to put a thing in there. You haven't tried it yet. Gotcha. So much steam still to go. Well, we are down to 421 kilograms. We're about to break into 300. Well, the 300s. Soon. I'm going to be so happy when this is done. <laughs> like, when this room is finally clean. Of all of the god dang steam I had to use to clean out the entire car, I will be really happy. Because then we can finally turn this bad boy on and I don't have to care. 
it will be glorious. <laughs> also, the sheer amount of nuclear waste I'm going to end up with. Oof. That'd be nice. How's what Palin doing still? That's so good looking. Ah, oh, getting there. All the deadly magma. You have to do it on actual master mode. Without journey. I feel like I'm chilling this area too much. Then again, I'd rather it be frozen than dangerous. It is four point three. I need to insulate the steam generators. Hmm. Just thinking right now. I'm like staring at my creation like probably need to insulate right here, I think. I stopped chilling everything into oblivion, but on the other hand, it's also nice having just extra thermal mass in the case of oxygen. Hmm. It's a maybe. Eh, it it should be okay, I think. <laughs> like, eh, uh, 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 pity pity. <laughs> like, looking at some math, I'm just like throwing it into an Excel sheet, just like, eh, <laughs> I think we'll be fine. If anything, I can always just turn off the cooler and let the system slowly warm up. Three hundred and two right there. Yeah, I have all of this space that's just there's nothing in it, which is great because it means there's no temperature I <laughs> have to worry about. Uh it's getting there. Really, really slow. How are you guys doing? Actually, quite good. Your lab's a little fucked up, but uh, definitely okay. Mostly because, yep. <laughs> At least I kicked it down to about to 71. That works. Temp-wise, it's still going to be warm-ish, just because I can't really 
And kind of finagle the cooling into there, I think. It'd be tight anyway. And these poor wees weren't stuck in chlorine. They're barely going to be able to make any impact. And the base is functioning. Losing a little bit of temperature to the surrounding environment every ever so slowly. <laughs> uh. You're doing quite well. Anyways. Aqua Flays, 98%, 88%. Yeah, I think we're getting to I think we're getting them in at 98. So that's really good news. I mean, I think your friend's gonna probably go insane, but hey. <laughs> I wish you two luck. Oh, radiation. The only reason I say those is because you're probably going to do some other crazy challenge. <laughs> That's why I say that your friend's probably going to go crazy. Because <laughs> you'll do something else. Um... Not, I, I don't really know if you can do something as absolutely insane as uh, that. <laughs> Still impressive, but definitely up up there on the what <laughs> in the world. Uh, okay, dude. Everything going good. We have the coffee cup. Now. Uh, Cruiser, that's not English. I think I understand what you said, but I'm like <laughs> trying to read that over my head. I'm like, uh... Best thing, my friend, was Tuarius stock. It was a case of don't judge a book by its cover. I mean, the best thing was, was that your friend stuck to Terraria. Or do you mean that your friend was saying that Terraria sucked? Exactly. That's why I mean, but that's not English. <laughs> so I was like, uh... Read that one back to yourself, please, <laughs> or rewrite it, because I don't, I don't fully grasp what you mean by that. Okay, range remaining is eight. Gene, I'm gonna actually relaunch you into orbit, only for a second, because we're gonna remove all of this and scoot it over. I noticed. That's why I was like, just rewrite it. It's fine, then. 
That's why I was like, I don't know what you mean by that. Okay, in line sequence. On your buddy, you just need to take out for a second. I gotta, I gotta scoot this launch pad over. And that also means I need to rejig this. Like so. And redo that one. My friend said that they didn't like it, but then they did say that it did turn out that they did like it. Okay, that makes sense. Bigger problem is that I need to clean this up. I mean, this needs to go. And the animation wire needs to go. Ah, I gotcha. That makes much more sense. What you said before, I had no, literally no idea what you meant. <laughs> As I said, I was like, uh, let me just read that off to you, and which one is it? That one, put it down, that one. Should be able to build those. That does look like it's reachable. Or did today. I do feel a little bad for Gene because I got him just kind of sitting up here. But he should be fine. That's all fine there. Now, I need rocket pad and we've got to go there. Make it out of steel so it doesn't melt. Okay, dupes. Now comes the fun part. I need to build two of these. <laughs> Might want to keep that there. We won't be able to walk into here in this region anymore.
And then I need in shipping. I need to put an unloader right here. Yep, and let's go right there, and that should hopefully connect everything in. And now, Sandwich got minor radiation poisoning. coming out here with nuclear radioactive material and uh, no, no you are not land here <laughs> and I'm gonna hope nobody comes over here because we're gonna have a massive burst of radioactive fallout yep <laughs> 10,000 rads in certain spots yep there's 10,300 oh the radiation Oh boy. Didn't run. <laughs> Any germs on you? No, nah, no, nah, you're okay. Two thousand degrees. Oof. Yep. Spicy. Spicy materials. But, the rocket has landed. And, it should be connected. Which means... Be able to remove these. And, why are you still here? Why are you the one coming out here? You're at 73 Go to the bathroom, dude. <laughs> Empty your bowels. Please. Material-wise, probably want to make it out of steel. Let's bring it into the base. Um, but where? Big question. I just drop it right in here, but it, some of this is going to be stupid cold. I guess I can just drop it inside the nuclear waste facility, pretty much. Yeah, that'll work. Okay, section set this all to a nine. One's allowed to go through, that's fine. Well, admit this one probably needs a cooling loop. How are we going to do that? Um, keep forgetting they changed where a drywall is. I could probably just reorientate this through here. Hmm. Well, if it was super cool, I could do that. Ethanol will probably burst the second I uh, fire the steam rocket again. Petroleum wouldn't. Hmm. Yeah, 
Damn you, Neutronium. Oh, well, soon. Soon I won't need to remove this and constantly rebuild it. <laughs> Very soon. Oops. I need all of this built. Once that's done, then we can automatically ship stuff out of the rocket, so even if we launch and come back, it should automatically start depositing. will dramatically speed up the overall process, which is very nice. And it's just so close. So close to done. There we go. I like how it still gives the warning of unreachable storage. getting too much even while it being insulated <laughs> oh well stable auto repair I don't really care <laughs> because I'll just use it when we use it Where this thing's transporting its temperature. It's creating 1.25 kilo DTUs worth of energy. And yet, it's dispersing its energy into something. I'm assuming it's the conveyor rail. Which is a bit weird, but also interesting. This isn't a vacuum, so. Yeah, you can see it losing temperature. It should be only gaining temperature. There's no gases, no liquids to transfer. That's very strange. Oh, 
Um, it'll be a while before we dump all the uh, cargo. It also means we'll probably remove all the food. One over here. I priority this. Oh, Gene. <laughs> Gene. Oh, okay, I'm engaged. God, he is fast. Neom. <laughs> I know you're hungry. We're going to go pick up food right now, so you can throw it in the fridge, and then you can go retrieve it from the fridge and store the rest. He has recovered the food. Onward! To the fridge! Nope, oh, picking up the suit. There we go. Here's the big question. Where is he going? Ah, right under the light bulb. Perfect. I do find it funny that if you give them light in any way fashion or form for any action that they do, they gain 15% speed on whatever they're doing. And that includes eating. <laughs> and going to the bathroom. Uh, it is pretty funny. Some plastic. Researching, operating, cooking, animal lover. Uh, Mari, nope. Ashkin, no. Ever's lungs is good. But, uh, that's not really what we're for right now. And then poor Ada. They got animal lover, which is great, but they didn't get the interest for it. That sucks. Uh, I'm gonna call it an... Uh, let's call it an Interpolar. Why not? Yeah, it's fine. Oops, please finish this. Else is looking pretty good. Those are water situation. Oh, perfectly fine. Never mind, we're good. We're good. We haven't even broken below this yet. I'm trying to heat it up remotely. That's rough. Nice. Oh, 
only fishing skills in Terraria actually had a percentile increase <laughs> when you got stuff. <laughs> that is pretty funny. <gasps> Material tiles, yes! Yes! Oh, soon. Very soon. I gotta tab back in and I see this. This is great news. Little bit of loss, but mostly recoverable. 3,000 kilograms. Dang, that looks good. Looks really good. So this is no longer temperature transferring. And I think this is actually also done. Yup. So seeing this is a vacuum, there's no temperature transfer at all between this giant chunk of obsidian and lava and this blob that we're cooling down. Because all of this obsidian has gotten so cold that any lava touching it turns into materials, this is no longer transferring because obsidian doesn't transfer temperature. Now, it does, but it's so minute that it doesn't actually... It does weird things. The, the best way to just say this is, this is not actually temperature transferring anymore. Which means all of these, all of this, all of this, and this are now disconnected. So that means I only need to cool this down. Until the steam gets in there. And when the steam gets in there, then I gotta worry. Because <laughs> that's when it will explode again. Because all of the uh, lava pieces will connect again. Because there'll be a transfer media. Hopefully that just transforms in the material and then we can just let the steam in. Looks so cool! Seeing all the lava slowly draining away into solid material. Solid well, usable material, thank you. A lot of igneous rock that we're going to be reclaiming. Ah uh, yeah, Cruiser, you need to get crates. You need to literally fish for crates more than you need to do anything else. I cannot believe that you're doing a Terraria fishing only challenge, but yeah, that's that's what you need to do. Because that'll be how you progress, especially into hard mode. You can just see the lava slowly bubbling away. Turning into chunks. Beautiful. I wish home base would have been this easy. <laughs> there was so much lava, it made it literally impossible. I oh know, I that's got food poisoning. I just that's. How the heck did you get food poisoning? Literally, how? I think it's deep frozen and in, in CO2. No, nothing's surviving that. You mess with the the sewage system? Uh, no, that's not even all of that sanitary as well. I think I think of as you pick that up. Better clean it, I guess. I have no idea how I got food poisoning. 
Like the fridge, the entire kitchen is completely covered in floral scent germs, which floral scent germs kill food poisoning. They're they're aggressive. They're passive to dupes, but they're aggressive to all germs. I have no idea. And I'm confused by that. Because it just in inadvertently got it while using the bathroom, I guess. That happened. I don't want to know why that happened. <laughs> Yeah, that's good. sure all the connection nodes are connected. They are... are. Huh. Neat. I know I seven. That's all fine. This is the one I'm more worried about. Yeah, 0 0.7. It's still way too cold. Uh, damn it. All the good news is, is our rockets are now properly lined up. Oh boy, we're having actual water backup. Hey, uh, let's start draining this system. <laughs> That's way too much water. Oh crap. I do also need to deconstruct this so that way the water will flow through this first, and then out the system. Seriously cold water. I have played both. Why? And I am sad that Elite Dangerous went the way that it did because Frontier is an idiot. I assume base game, or did you pick up any of the DLCs? That should be a base game, then. Play in private first. Do not go into open. Only reason I say that is not because of other players, but due to the fact of how engineered ships work. If you're in open and you only have the base game, you cannot engineer your own ship. But the NPCs can have engineered weapons. Which means that you will get absolutely slapped. If you're in private, they scale to you. Like number one thing to know. If you're in private or solo.
while we wait for our water to get itself sorted through, because we're currently having a, uh, a lot of excess water. Let me grab this for you. You want that? I hate to admit it, but Elite Dangerous, you really do need third party tools. If you're doing Eve, you'll need a spreadsheet. Spreadsheets, I should say. And that's not a joke. You will actually need it so you can keep track of everything. You don't want to familiar yourself with uh, EDDBIO really badly. That thing is uh, pretty much the only way to navigate effectively, at least within the bubble. There's a couple other websites as well, but I would say that that's that's the big one. Once you learn how to navigate that thing and actually use it, you're golden. If you don't learn how to do that, you're gonna have a really bad time. And then there's also Inara, which is the other one that I used to use all the time. Actually, my entire faction used to do it all the time. Let me get this thing set up for you real quick. There we go. There you go. And there's an aura for you. Those are the two. Also, I believe that the devs have already stated that they'll never add those types of tools in-game. Even though they have the API designed specifically for it. So, you're going to permanently be... Those are going to be your best friends. In the vacuum of deep, deep space. Because <laughs> uh, they're not going to do anything else. <laughs> They're in 76 bomb fish? That's kind of impressive. Oh, yeah. There you go, Giovanni. I hope you at least get... I, I would say you could probably get about 300 hours out of Elite. 
if you go for full engineering and you try to go for um, uh, the Corvette or the Cutter, pretty much any of the high-end stuff, you, you could probably get about 300 to 400 hours out of Elite before you get bored shitless because there's nothing left to do. Already had the shipboard? Okay, good. Yeah, Nara has a lot of other functionality, so look through the website. It's very good. Mining tool that is not a pickaxe. Yeah. Well, actually, no. You can go get the... Uh, the. Oh, well, I know it's been nerfed, but the uh, the shark pickaxe. I always forget its name. Because there's certain ores you will not be able to mine in the current playthrough style that you're doing. I don't think you can get Chlorophyte. Which might... Huh. I wonder how you would do that. Okay. I was about to say, you can't. You, there's no pickaxes, fish-wise or otherwise, that'll have the thickness to be able to do that, I don't think, because you need the hollow... Well, actually, you're doing fishing only, but are, are you allowing for hollow bars? If you're allowing for hollow bars, it's doable. It's a fish-only terraria rod. If you're not allowing hollow bars, then you can't. Is there a pickaxe that's non that's a standard vanilla that would be able to do that from fishing only? From all sources of resources gathered only through fishing? Hmm. That is a really good question. I don't know the answer to that. I never thought anyone would be insane enough to actually do a run like that. That's what I mean. I'm trying to think of... Like, in Calamity, you could do it. In, in, in Calamity, I'm pretty sure there's an entire fishing pickaxe tree that you could use. But that's not vanilla. Huh. And yes, for anyone else that's currently watching, we are currently draining our excess water tank. And we're also draining our excess steam for our nuclear reactor. Mostly wearing down the rest of it. Hey, I see a pocket. Oh no. Oh. You going up a mass? Please don't be going up a mass. Can we not do calamity only fishing? It be it's actually possible to do that. Calamity opens up a lot of different ways. You can do a throwing class only in calamity. It's actually possible all the way through. Oh, there it goes. And little material chunks forming. Yeah, Calamity's fantastic. If anyone's not played Terraria, or you have played Terraria, I do 100% recommend the Calamity one. We've done a full playthrough here on the stream, and it's really good. I'm being honest, I think you can actually do it via Calamity, without needing any other mods. Because there's the whole abyss area and all this other stuff. Oh, I'd recommend Calamity first. Like, the first mod you should do is Calamity. <laughs> there's some good ones, but Calamity's the first one I would recommend there, Cruiser. 100%.
Ah, the soul mod. That's the other one I would recommend. Calamity, though, for sure. That's... If you're not, if you don't do a playthrough of Calamity immediately upon getting a PC and actually able to play Terraria PC with the mod, with Calamity mod, oof, you are missing out. Oh, we're so close. Soon I will have steam all over this entire area. <laughs> I'll be able to actually enter this room somewhat safely. Big downside is going to be uncovering that thing to research it, because if it's active, it's been saying overpressure for a while, but if it's uh, active, then it's going to immediately explode with, the li with liquid into gas sulfur everywhere. <laughs> and uh, in all honesty, I may need to just vent it into space to get rid of it if that happens. I'll try to block it in first before we do anything. There is a high possibility of the sulfur geyser. If it goes off at the wor if at a bad time, we may be venting everything in just a chimney into space while it goes off. The sulfur geysers are hyperactive and are an absolute like nightmare to deal with. They're great, but oof. If I fuck this up, we're gonna have a problem. <laughs> oh yeah, for sure. Seeing more material building up. One thousand one hundred, one thousand two hundred. Come on, Mava, I beseech thee, go away, turn into material. Not solid rock. I'd rather have material, but then I don't lose you. Because I'm going to need all of this igneous for the water world. <laughs> oh man, this is going to suck. Transporting all of this stuff. The good news is, this planet will finally have solar. The bad news is that I'm going to have a crap load of, like, probably 900 degree igneous rock that all has to go to the water world. And I have no nuclear waste here because the nuclear power plant isn't ready yet. <laughs> it hasn't been fully vented of all the steam. Getting so close. So nice seeing all these little chunks, little serrated rocks, some igneous rock. I don't think there's a thousand tons here, but there might be. It's very tight to find out. I can't scroll back far enough. <laughs> yeah. One, two, three, four, five, nine. Nope, it's ten. So it's nine hundred and seventy ton point nine tons of igneous rock right there. Uh yeah, you can. If you know the time and date and also the uh the biome, you can get them. Without actually having the quest. It's weird like that. so close. <laughs> like, I'm just sitting here, there's like, come on! Go faster. Great. I'm gonna start digging up some of this stuff. Burn! Thanks, bud. Come on in and help. It is hot. Yeah, I know. It's a thousand degrees. 
Depending on something that's a thousand degrees, which I'm a little concerned about. Okay, let me leave. Go, go, go. It's 940, you are safe. <laughs> as long as it's not the 1400, we're okay. Can you come back? Or anybody who has a digging skill? That'd be great. Uh, Yuki, I didn't think you had the skills to do this. The excavation is 10, but it's all from the Atmos suit. <laughs> I know it's hot. Yep, and they're standing on the stupidly hot material. Move your butt. 1,300. Yep, there's the threshold. <laughs> you may leave. Oh, Yuki, you don't need to go back. Let someone else handle it. Uh, run. <laughs> it's the tile that they're standing on, which is the problem. They're standing on 1,300. The second they touch it, they immediately start taking damage. They can stand right here without issue. Uh, yeah, just too much. Sorry, Yugi. And uh, get you healed up, shall we? There goes the steam. Look at the wave of steam. Micrograms, but it is still filling out the actual area. Looking good. I'm always impressed how Oni actually renders its gases. Look good. Look really good. Come on, Steam, you can do it. I believe in you. Expand. want to see a gram in here. <laughs> it's just one. It looks so cool. Oh, well, that's all material now. It'll take it a while to cool down to where we can enter, but... It's definitely cooling down. That looks so cool. Soon all this will become solid. And then all of this should start. You know what? It's actually cold enough that I can put igneous rock in here. It's crazy when you think about it. The entire room is literally made of molten rock. This one, I want to do... that.
Mm, let's not put those in yet. I need to clean that all up. I think that, that that's going to be the cutoff point right there. <laughs> 1,168 right next to its danger zone. Nine prior to that. Yuki's currently down and out. But he has landed safely. You don't have anything perishable in you. Nope. Nope. We're all good. How much extra water are we producing? Okay, that's all empty now. Good. Okay, let me uh, turn that off. Check the water temperatures. 14.6. Yeah, that's actually pretty good. Yeah, we can keep that shield, shield on up for a bit longer. The bigger issue is that I need to... that and I need to make steel. Yep. I can find a spot to do it. Uh. Yeah that'll do. I'll just vent it straight down on top of our steam turbine. We'll be fine. Getting cooled anyway. should probably insulate that one tile because it'll come into contact with the steam that's coming out as excess. I just want to lower it down. Eh, I should probably insulate this. At least those two tiles, I think. Yeah, screw it. Lower it down by one. I don't trust it. Not to cause a problem. There we go. Is it can affect this radius? And whether it not be up here touching the solid rocket built unloader. Thousand degrees. Thousand one hundred fifty-four. Please be careful. Thousand oh, fifty-eight. Still too much. Yep. Still too much. Getting toasty. Which is funny because you'd think the steam would be the problem, but it's actually the box that he's standing on. <laughs> The lottery should be okay. Yep, that is a stupidly hot piece of material. Where are you taking it? Oh, 
Oh, it merged in, so we didn't have to worry about it. <laughs> okay, Vinard. <laughs> you win this round, buddy. An anemic radiation ether with uncultured. They're a digger and a supplier. If you were a glow stick, I would probably take you, but you do have anemia, and I'm really worried about that. Oh. Mm. I don't think so. Sorry, Otto. Not bad, but it's not good either. I'll take the pips, but where do I want to put them? I guess they can go here. There we go. Okay, Yuki just got healed. See how they're holding up. Standing at 800 degree temperatures. They're in an insulated block, so now it's the air pressure that's going to be calculated. And they jump down. <laughs> and there's a thousand wire and 48, which is also bad. That's slightly better. 928. I know it's hot. Stay on the ladder, you'll be slightly okay. Whatever you do, do not touch the ground. <laughs> Literally, whatever you do, Yuki, don't touch the ground in here. Literally get crispied. <laughs> that would be quite bad. Oh, you're, just, you're standing too close to it. <laughs> Literally, like, face first in 1,153 degree temperature obsidian. Yep. Awesome, They're not taking damage again because they're not literally touching it. Okay, bud, get get out of there. <laughs> it's very toasty. It's it's it, it it's exceptionally toasty when you smear your helmet against <laughs> thousand one hundred and eighty degree obsidian. Uh, and you're standing literally right next to one thousand two hundred degree. Yeah, that's gonna fuck you up no matter what you do. Sorry, Yuki. <laughs> I was really hoping Yugi would just deliver here, come back down here, build these from below, which is why I gave them the space. But no, no, she decided to stand right here and just hug the rock. It's like, Yugi, if that was Igneous Rock, it would be very close to molten right now. So please, don't, don't do that. The Alvern Fair is here. It should do better, hopefully. Is all he'll do is mine, so he'll dig everything around it. Downsides when he gets to here, because he'll be within close proximity. Yep. As he gets closer and closer, it gets worse. I know, buddy. It's hot. Yep. 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 yep.
Can you move down here where it's colder? There you go. It's safe right here. And kind of safe here. Oof. Uh, yes, it does. Drill scope by tier increases how much you get. Ryan, get out of there. Come on, buddy. Get out of there. You're like right next to... Yeah, 1,200. Uh, the deep red steam is moving around. You can see it slowly scooting about. Every time it touched him, it would cause damage. Damn it. Okay, Brent. I'm gonna cancel this order for now. The crates, buddy. Cruiser, the crates. But uh, yes, fuel scoops each size up gives you more fuel per second. So the better, the hot, the more expensive the fuel scoop, the more efficient it is. When you start running the big boy, then like say on an anaconda, you can literally like cap a star's corona, and you will full full fuel, and then you're out. You get healing potions from time, uh, health potions and other potions from the crates. But yeah, bigger fuel scoops equals more surface mass slash efficiency and it just gets more stuff. That's all you need to know. Freaking hot. Uh, we're slowly cooling it down. <laughs> Ever so slowly. to get warmer before it gets cooler. Oh, the liquid sulfur gazer wants to go off. What is what's your XP right now? Crazy. your arc and then what talking about the fuel scoop still right <laughs> elite is they go up by grade e f etc you get an a rank one and it's freaking nutty oh, okay Have you been doing the uh, Maple event? The Christmas event thing for just finishing off all your crap so you get your extra potions? Because if you're doing that, you could pretty much complete your arc right now. If you're above, what? 250, 247 with 53%. And nine days back? Yeah, you're pretty close then. Yeah, the last two potions on that list and I'll get 250 on my Illum. And then that'll be that. I still don't really get the gist of what Nexon's trying to do on that one. 
Because they want people to be able to do Black Mage content. But Black Mage is 255. <laughs> I know it's ridiculously costing. It's pretty expensive. Man, yeah, it's just I the thing I just don't I don't understand what Nexon's wanting out of the out of, you know the the Terra burning super event that they're doing to get everyone to 250. Because again, 250 isn't even like a bracket. 255 is the bracket, and then 275 is um uh, burnium. So it doesn't make any sense. Why drop people off right before the the actual finish line? It doesn't make any sense. It's actually extra confusing because if you play like Mabinogi or you play um, uh, DFO, there are events which do the exact same thing. Drop you off right at where you need to be. Oh, I know. But that's what I mean. It doesn't make any sense to me. Exactly. That's the part that's confusing, because it, it literally makes absolutely no sense. Because in DFO, they drop you off right at current content, and then they're like, do the, do the previous raids, then unlock the next set, and then you can do current content. But you have the gear from current content raid bosses. That's what they do. You still gotta do the previous raids, but you have gear that's way over what's required. And then you go through and you do all the different sets of raids and then actually clear with the full 16-man groups. And then you can do actual current content on your new characters. Mabinogi has the same system, pretty much. And then Maple's the only one where they're finally doing it, but they're half-assing it. And they're dropping you off before the finish line. And they're not even getting even close to enough to be able to even participate. It's just really weird. Yeah, exactly. That's what I mean by they're not giving enough arcanes, they're not giving any level of understanding on how to actually make progression, and it's just like, what what, <laughs> what are you doing? Like, oh well, th th this is for new players, and it's like, no, this is for old players, because new players won't be able to do jack shit. You literally need a veteran to explain how to do all this stuff, and then probably a couple hundred dollars just to even be able to even compete or even do anything. By compete, I mean just exist and not die inside of even Hilla's room on the way in. It just seems really, really, really dumb. And completely counterproductive. Also, I definitely need to turn this one off for a moment. The only reason being is, is I need to vent some of this CO2. I can see it building up, and I'm like, ah, you make a problem. <laughs> true, very true. I just don't know what the heck Nexon's actually thinking, because it's like, they've made these games before. I don't know why Maple Team is being as dumb as they are. Yeah, exactly. But it just seems it seems completely stupid about what how, their way that they're progressing things. I guess just like yeah, we're gonna do this event and actually you know help bring people on up to be able to play the game, and it's like no, you're not. <laughs> not even close. And like anyone who just comes in is just completely useless. I don't know what you what the heck you're smoking over there. Rare is a labor of love by a very small, dedicated dev team. And they work their asses off to make that game good. And also have continued to keep updating the game, even though technically speaking, they don't really need to, but, you know, they, they keep doing it. I know. 
Actually, do I really need that one? Not really. Um, make you have the digs here. I'll get rid of the slime there, and this should finally clean up all of this. Yes, I will be building my lab right here. I just need to clean up this excess garbage. And I do need to tank that. What about professions? Oh wait, don't dig that up. That's not completed. Oops, step ladder. Quickly. Oh no! I definitely go do that. Nice. I'd say that the main thing that you need to worry about when it comes down to professions in Maple is just making sure that you have enough resources to literally maintain Meister for a month. If you have enough resources to maintain Meister for a month, then you can then go for it and then clear everything that you want. Then when you're done, then just rebuild your resources back up and then go for it again later once you have enough resources for it again. There's no point in maintaining it 24-7. Previously there was, but now it's just like, it's not to the same degree. Yeah, I never recommend 24 7 in it. Unless you're running, like, every alt. If you're playing all 57 characters, then sure. If you're not, then there's you're, ge you're not going to generate enough cube fragments to be able to maintain stuff. If you're doing it from uh, smithing anyway. Especially seeing they keep nerfing E-bosses, so it's like, what the heck's the point? Yeah, I don't do that. That's a complete waste. <laughs> I always just accumulate them. If you are running multiple alts, you do end up getting enough. Okay, dudes, clean this up, please. Oh, you don't farm anyway? Uh, that's fair. I do bosses every single Saturday, so... I make sure I do my bosses. That's about it. As long as, as long as you're knocking out bosses on like five, six characters, you are okay. Because then you just you you really can just kind of save up every month. Well, every other month. I can't keep going yet. Trying to get rid of all the gross mud here.
There we go. Oh, it is. It absolutely is. I mean, all you have to do is get to the point where you can be carried, and that's really about it. Especially on, like, Reboot. Like, I don't, I despise Reboot, but that's just me. Like, I find it completely pointless. But if you're gonna, if you're going to end up playing on Reboot, then you'd want to, you would absolutely just stick around at that level. There's no point going past it. For your alts, anyway. On reg server, you can totally go past it, because you can just invest more money. <laughs> and you can grind money in the same way that you do in Reboot, and still get the same exact gains. Actually, you'll probably end up with more. Just because you can actually trade shit. <laughs> I think that's actually been my biggest gripe as a whole lately, is just the fact that it's like... Once you start pushing 300% drop rate and 200% meso gain, like, you really don't have to do that much. It's really goddamn nice. <laughs> but it's just like, I always see other people, like, comparing rates, and it's just like, yeah, no, you, once you get to that point, you're just kind of like, you, you can just grind billions and not care. And it's nice. It's really nice. God, no. <laughs> Their stamina hit 0%. Doop down. Doop down. There you go. You don't have any alerts. You can make it back to barracks if you want. No, no. You don't want to go back to barracks. Where are you going? You're actually going to dig. My dupe is being a trooper today. 7% stamina. <laughs> I'm impressed. They really want to clean up that per that disgusting dirt. Good job, dude. You literally digging everything today? And you are. Why have you not done this like days ago? <laughs> Why now? Uh. Oh yeah, I know. That's how I ended up getting the pass. Yeah, buying maple points when they're cheap and then selling them when they're high, it's a pretty lucrative way of getting a shitload of meso. Okay, dude. You've done your job. Get to the barracks. Get to your comfy bed. You've done your job. Yeah. Oh, God damn it, Ricari, where are you going? Where are you doing? I right, know. No stamina. Go to bed. Cooking supply and fabrication supply. You, you literally just have, like, pick up crap, bring to base. <laughs> Damn it. I still have to sell a, um, uh, back pet at some point. I can't believe I memed her and got another one. God damn it, Victoria. It's a dawn. There I am. I need to sell that at some point. If I stream my bossing, I would totally blame it on streamer luck. But being I haven't been streaming Maple Story that much, like at all this year, streamed a little bit, but not much. I can't really blame that. <laughs> Okay, something is wrong with the fight party. Maybe no, no, never mind. That's all good. Just being a bit of a derp. <laughs> I'm still trying to get Pico. 
Uh, I have my Oberon fully kitted out, maxed out everything, and I'm just like, I still need to get Pico, and I need to get Titania at some point in the far future. They're on my list. That's about it. There goes the CO2 cleanup. You aren't running. There go. The Pirate Annex set? Oh, the Corsair set? Um... Shit. Uh, I don't remember what it was in English. <laughs> um, crap. Watching the dupes right now. How's the water situation before I do anything? Already full again. Oh crap. <laughs> oh I know. We're almost full. <laughs> Should you get a dolphin in the what? How the heck did that happen? That's hilarious. Is there a hole to the ocean in the beehive in, ter in your terraria map? That's a hilarious thing if that happened. Website real quick. That's funny. Black pink style items, blah blah blah, that garbage be the one maybe uh, hmm I'm not seeing it there Giovanni Is it a, maybe it was the December 7th one? Let's see, it's all showing the same garbage from the previous one. No, nope, it's not that one. Radiation. Uh, I still need more. I need infinitely more. Do I farm my own juniper flowers? Yeah, I do. Why? I still have a shitload of those. <laughs> uh, I think I have... What? 
I think six stacks. Yeah, if I remember it, I think I have five or six stacks of those left. Oh, gotcha. CO2 build up in every place and nook and cranny they need to get rid of. <laughs> uh, I think my steam vent is costly. We did break below 400 though. Or below 400 kilograms. Soon. Soon I'll be able to turn this damn thing on. It won't explode. Right now it's just overpressurized and I can't get rid of the gas until we vent the room. It's just too much steam. But the problem is, is that venting this room is taking a while, mostly because of how much steam was actually required to clean out the core. Without incinerating everything. Pretty sure I used Wolframite for some of it because I needed it to survive the temperatures. <laughs> we didn't have steel at the time, so it just kind of went super jank. <gasps> Wait. We have a pay. And they're not god-awful. For once in the... <laughs> oh my god, finally. This is the second pay to not be literally trash. And infinitely better than all the previous ones. They're unempathetic, so they can't do medicine. They have a green thumb, but they only ah, uh, they only have tidying, cooking, and digging. <sighs> I do want to pay. That's the thing. I want this dupe. I've been trying to get a good dupe for over a year of pay. We just can't get it because we keep getting issues like this. Where well, actually, what we keep getting is where. They have a negative and a positive, and the negative completely negates the positive. It's the first time this has happened where that hasn't happened. Or sorry, second time. Add all the Jennifer Berry flowers, oil, the cost of everything. I rock it, unless someone else has a lot of them to spare. That's... Do we take the pay? I feel like we could do better. We're starting to see pays that are not crap. If I just keep waiting, we'll get one. This is a really good pay, though. At least for pay, by pay standards. <laughs> Every one of these poor dupes has been a terrible nightmare. Uh... Exactly. I think we're going to grab the citrus spandex again. <laughs> Uh, I really want to pay, but I... Yeah, we're going to hold off on picking up this pay. I'm going to grab the spandex instead. The problem is, is who needs it? Scroll on up here. Pretty sure... Who's the one that was wearing my... They're wearing the pink one because you refused to put the other one on. Okay, Sand is the one currently wearing it, and he's plumbing. Do I have anyone else that was a plumber? Yuki! Wait, Yuki, you, you want to be the... Okay. You know what? There you go. <laughs> There's your plumbing degree. But you actually have both researching and aesthetic designs, so you're good there. Um, I guess potatoes can put it on. Cause he wanted to be a doctor and a builder. I can give him plumbing as a backup. Yeah, 
Yeah. Screw it. Um. Right, you're gonna need that one. But I will give. Just medicine and medicine. There you go. And you will get the orange hat. Like normally get the plumbers the orange hats. Out of so see, I could give them the actual blue hat, but I'm like, no 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 no. Things are much easier to spot. Kind of spend next. Potato. Alright. There's Mr. Squiggle. Squiggly potato. Where are you? Oh, there you are. Okay, I'm engaged. I'll get your new suit, bud. Gills first, of course. Huzzah! He's gained spandex. <laughs> we got all those pipes. Uh, poor dude. Ah, that's another suit down. I need to disseminate oxygen more efficiently through the middle. But it might mess with my decor, so I'm like, eh. <laughs> uh. Have you regenerated yet? Collected. Artifact is available. Right, let's go for the ice asteroid. I don't really need the excess materials, but I do kind of want to see what the artifact is. I'll just head there and pick it up and then come back once the rocket's filled. You won't really dig that much. gonna run the two set down here for the time being while I clean out all the CO2 problems. In all honesty I should really redirect this stuff into a actual carbon skimmer but meh. Nah. <laughs> it's just like that would mean redirecting yet another liquid pipe some from somewhere possibly Hmm. Yeah, no clue. I'm trying to figure out where this CO2 is coming from. I'm assuming it's just from the dupes exiting and leaving from up here. Because they, when they exhale here, it should be 
really the only CO2 I should be seeing. How's temperatures here? 160. Actually down quite a bit. I will admit, I am stupidly tempted to just come right in here, right up here, <laughs> and poke a hole. And just vent everything. <laughs> I am stupidly tempted to do this. Everyone been sl everyone with injuries taken care of? Uh, no, Vinard still needs recovery. Good news is, is I'm starting to see these stop being full green, which means that we are actually beating the temperature that is entering this chamber. Which means temperature transfer is slowing inside the magma chamber. Which is a good and bad thing. It means that we are cooling it down more efficiently than we were before. Bad news, we're not transferring as much energy into the system to cool it down like we were before. And there is still liquid magma hovering about. Menacingly. <laughs> right, Yuki, you, you get on the bed. I know you're probably the one who's more injured than I, than Liners. Looks like we got another office mug. Alright, success. Uh, where to put it? <laughs> That's the question. I'm thinking another granite stand right here. On the pedestal, and we'll just put the teacup on, or the mug directly on top of it. We do have a lot of industrial equipment here, so I'm kind of like can't really fit it anywhere else. I can, I, Technically, I could hover it here and it would work. But I'd rather use something that's going to be a little bit more permanent than mug. That one's at I'll technically have to finish my um, uh, rocket research at some point. We researched everything that we need to, up except for the hydrogen rocket, which I do not have the technology to handle hydrogen yet. <laughs> like we have the ceramic, we don't have anything else that could be, like actually deal with that. It'd be quite terrible. good news. Soon, soon I will be able to start cleaning this entire place out. I am seriously stupidly tempted to just vent the steam once it, all the magma has chilled, venting it into space. Because I could just open a chimney on the roof and just let it all out into space and that would, for the most part, do its job. Supposedly saying we're just going to end up switching over to solar anyway on this planet, and we don't really need this much energy worth of magma. <laughs> so much overkill. 
I haven't even touched this pocket. He's inadvertently pulled it down. Due to proximity. But <laughs> it's just ridiculous. Uh, pulling down cores is just a very slow and tedious and annoying process. <laughs> it's worth doing, it's just, it is annoying. Absolutely annoying. Still need to send some lead over and make a lead suit, or just send the lead suit over in general. I think there's only going to be like one or two dupes that I can even let in this room. I also have to vacuum this, and then make another liquid lock right here. And that is also 623 kilograms. Whereas in here, we're at 395. Yay! <laughs> we're getting closer. Ever so slowly, every day we get a good stream in. Every episode, we slowly get rid of the steam. Worst part was, was all of it was absolutely necessary, and I hate that fact. <laughs> like, uh, so frustrating. Temperature transfer should be now. Wait, now I am. Yes. Okay. How about you? Uh, why are you not having a problem? Oh, you are. Just <laughs> sound like I don't think the bridge is not having a problem transferring temperature right now. No, well, they are. Uh. Think you found a system weapons trade route elite dangerous? That's pretty good. Check it. I mean, personally, when it comes down to Elite Dangerous, normally it's some, um, uh... Oh, what was it? Platinum, gold, any of the rare resources, like the mineral resources. Still pretty well. There's always good trade routes with them. And also, you said you were speaking with another streamer. It would do only fishing. <laughs> Bruh, don't, don't, don't be pushing that challenge onto people. They don't. Nobody. No. That's something that some someone with an absolutely insane methodology would do it. I would not recommend that on any streamer or any person for that matter. <laughs> like, what is wrong with you, man? Cruiser, what the fuck? The way you wrote that, you were saying that you were telling someone, telling a streamer to do a, um, uh, a fishing only ver um, uh, run through of fucking <laughs> Terraria. Don't, no. Don't, don't be hoist, don't be hoisting that onto other people. That's a you thing, dude. <laughs> You'd have to be crazy to pull that, to do that one. Seriously. Yeah, 
I'm gonna have to shoot these. Damn it! I had hoped that I wouldn't need to do this. Before it actually becomes a problem. liquids being transferred out, right? The only six weapons? Yeah. Always check beforehand. You can check the actual routes via the uh, EDDB. I'll give you all the info about the route that you're about to do. That's why I said to use those third-party websites. And yeah, I know, Cruiser. Don't don't be doing that one to other people. That's no, <laughs> no. Rocket is filling. Very good. Bruh. <laughs> Bruh. Uh. No. I'll do five seconds. There we go. What's that, Cruiser? Dormant for our eighteen thirteen cycle. Oh yeah, that would work, wouldn't it? Or you could just make a hundred worlds <laughs> with the same seed. That would also do it. <laughs> as long as you're able to get the angler quickly. Because if you, if you could figure out what the angler wants the first day, then you could cheese it that way too. That would also work. There we go. True. Seven hundred thousand carrier jobs. Uh, what's your ship? <laughs> That's gonna tell me if you're gonna end up dying horribly or not. If you're like in an eagle, and you're able to, and it's a data transfer. You should be able to dodge any and everything. If you're if you're in anything else, oh, an adder, no, don't take those jobs. You are going to die. <laughs> don't even think about it.
Personally, I would probably say if you're just starting off, it's data, yeah, but you're you're still gonna get chased by something dangerous as fuck if you're dealing with the 700k right off the bat. I would say grab an eagle. Grab the fastest, tiniest thing you can get your hands on. Because all you're going to do is run. <laughs> it needs its best shield, best thrusters, and best engine, and the frame for drive, and you're just going to run. What I was going to say is that you want to try to find, I, I would say look for Imperial Space in Elite, thing you're just starting. Look for Imperial Space, find, oh god, I don't know if Sh um, Shindra Desiree still exists, the system. If it did, I'd say just go there, but I don't know if that's that even exists anymore. But that was the place where all of us grinded our Imperial um, uh, reputation. Doing data tra during dra ah, data delivery missions. Transfer missions. Meh. So close. Nope. Back up to normal temperatures again. Nope. Thermal Aqua is just shifting energy into the room, so it's somewhat rising it back up. Baron 16 bass. Hmm. Neat. Well, 500 blocks of steam in here. Okay, all of that is now solidified. This will take a while. This will probably be next. In Elite, in, in Imperial Space, you'll, there's a system called uh, Shinra Desiree. I don't know if it still exists, but that's where all the data um, uh, missions used to be. See if EDSM has it. Oh, it's loading. It's just taking a while. Here, I'll get you the name. Oh, you can just search it. There you go, bud. As it should be the Pilot Federation Allegiance, and then nearby is where the Imperial Space would be. And you can find all of the areas around it will ha normally have missions. That can go to it, or go around, like to the areas around it for actual missions. It's the big founder's location. The area around it's what you're looking for. If you can find that on the the. Uh, the galaxy map, you should be good to go.
Let's see if I can try to find you something while we're waiting on everything. <laughs> I mean, we're literally waiting on stuff to cool down. Oh, man. I'm sorry, chat. And YouTube. It's just, this This is what in-game Oni looks like, is waiting on stuff to cool down. And then conceptualizing new large-scale constructions. Yeah, you want to go for the areas around it. The permit for that one is actually reaching um, uh, elite in any of your skills. But the areas around it that are Imperial space normally have good missions in there. At least it used to. You, you could find lots and lots of data courier missions where you wouldn't get jumped by anything. And then a couple of them in a couple of the systems in that area can end up having back and forth missions where you never need to actually not go from point A to point B. But it's in the area along the edge of that zone where that system is. They just kind of you pinpoint that system and then look around for where Imperial space is. If you need to use the, um, uh, now what was that thing again? The factions view, so we can look for Imperial factions. Might be able to find one on EDDB. Empire. Let's see. Anything there? Nope. All right. Actually, and uh, yeah, this will be easier. Hey, Giovanni, where exactly are you located right now? What system are you in? In Elite. Hmm. Well, it's still coming in. It's just we are slowing down how much heat we're generating. It means no, nope, no, nope, that's still stable. I should really switch that over. Telling? Okay, give me a second. I'll see if I can find something near you.
compelling. And... Oh, you're near a bunch of Empire places. That's good to take. Let's check principles. Hey, a fungal smart. Fungal amalgam. Um, I already have one here. I'm not really growing. I'm not really doing that much with my fungal spores right now. We are growing them on the one planet, but that's about it. Um, yeah, screw it. Let's leave the gold amalgam back at main base. That'll be much better, more useful, I think. I might actually plant naturally growing fungal spores, like, right here, because of how much CO2 we're generating. <laughs> Just by existing. I can allow the pips to come out here and work on this. Because there's no plants down here, except for way down here. So it's actually well within range. Yeah. I might actually do that. We will see. I have to take some copper ore and build some natural tiles at a later date. I'll probably go like right here and right here. As if I'm going to grow them anyway. Not a bad idea. Free anyway. Temperature. Now, that thing is not stable and it's freaking out. That's why I'm sitting here staring at it like, are you going up or are you going down? Because I want to make sure that this is going to be safe. It looks like it is. But it could explode at any moment. <laughs> That's the part that concerns me. Uh, need a moniker of understanding of why this is fluctuating so much. I think I know why is that these are pumping out more pressure. As you can see, this is fluctuating a lot. So these are actually increasing the pressure in this room because of the excess water. So it's pushing the steam this way rather than back in. That's the only thing I can think of that's doing that. But it is causing massive fluctuations, which could easily break my thermal aqua tuner if I'm not careful. Uh. Let me do that thing for you, Giovanni, one sec. Hmm. 
I found some trade routes, but I didn't find anything else. On Inara, you can go to the uh, data section and head to um, uh, find trade routes. Type in Pelang and you should be able to find some stuff. There's a couple all right ones, it looks like. Nothing insane, though. I'm just going to trust my steam turbines can handle it. Uh, I'm concerned, but it, it should be okay. If I get a warning that my stuff just blew up, then I'm going to know exactly what happened. <laughs> Actuated too much in the other direction. Kaboom! <laughs> Let's get started with rocketry. Yes, it is. Mission control station. Please make that out of gold dupes. Thank you. Need it right there. Absolutely. Doors. The lab will go pretty much across from there to there. Oh. Yeah, about that big. Um, I'm assuming a geotoner can work in here. I don't know if it counts, but if it does, we'll put two in. Moving thimble weeds it's in the way. <laughs> so when it's in abyssalite. God damn it. Why, why couldn't you have been one down? <laughs> Just here. Instead. Eh. And we'll need a light bulb. I think here? Yeah, that should be this perfect spot. And duplicate motion sensor. Let's make it out of gold so I don't have to worry about the decor burn. I need the light bulb even when it's not daytime. Because if it becomes nighttime and the rocket's out there to get the boost, you might still need light to speed up the process. So we'll have to do that. I can't take that with my current team here. Uh, if only I could get a pay that could actually gig. <laughs> you could do farming. Literally have a <laughs> pencil doing everything. Uh, damn it. You need electrical engineering, and then I guess I'm going to shove you on... Digging? I'd rather be a building, though. <laughs> Electronics should always be building. Digging is the last resort for them. All 
Already done the figure two. Very good. I really need to generate more power on this planet. Um... I'm already running at max. Uh, so it might finally be time to uncap this thing, fully seal it in, then uncap it, and get everything rolling. Let's have a hydrogen generator pump down here, though. Well, I think that might be a thing for future me to have to worry about on that one. My dupes can't dig it out anyway, because <laughs> they don't have the skills. Uh, crap. I want to send Spoon and Ray and everyone else back. Where they can actually help dig up the planet. Oh, it goes very, very well, actually. Very cool. I am thinking about dropping a rover over here on... We are preparing everything. This should be Experiment 52B's place. Hopefully. Yeah, sadly, it's got to be a complete clean trip, so... 1, 2, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. All the way back. So this thing's got to be completely filled, or is it not coming back? Be bad. Yeah, I can get rid of the cargo bay, switch in a rover module, and the artifact transport. Yes, I could probably shrink the nose cone from the drill cone to the nose cone and maybe get two. Hmm. Same size. Cut that in half. Yeah, I might be able to fit two rover modules if I do it that way. This is going to require some finagling. But I think we can do it. We'll switch those out, put a rover module in, and then see if we can fit another one. Yeah, it's cruiser. Yeah, let me let me rejig this one. I can always just rebuild it immediately anyway, so it's not that big of a deal. This is going to look so derpy. <laughs> oh my god. Yup. Hey, Rick, are you? Your dupe is doing perfectly fine. Oop. Oh, 
Congratulations. Helping clean up all the garbage. <laughs> Your athletics are getting there. I think they're actually, yeah. 16 by default so far. You got four more levels to go before you're capped. Very effective dupe. Good job. <laughs> We're currently working on the framework for a lab over here. So we can speed up our rockets going to and from the place. We're going to drop two rovers over on my Kellen. And once we do, then we can really start actually building a basic base here. And then we can actually get dupes on the planet. That's the next objective. One, seven, eight, six hundred, eight, eight potions, and four potions. Nice! That's pretty good. Higher priority these, so that we can actually get the rovers built. might actually do the stupid maneuver over here on Rudibo. There is a technique that I can do that kind of breaks the game a little bit. Just a little. I'm thinking we might actually do it. Just this once. Yeah, screw it. Why not? Fuck it. Um, how much glass do we have? That's a bigger question. Probably need to start shooting glass over here using the rail guns. Two thousand. That's not. That one done. Once this rock gets filled up, we'll go drop the two rovers over there. But in the meantime, I need to set you glass. And I need to set you for thirty. Congrats. Do your best not to die. 
Oops, get the other rover done. Come on. Very important launch here. Come on. Need someone to come put it together. Come on, dupes. I believe in you. Prado, what are you doing? <laughs> oh. <laughs> like, I'm coming to hell. Wait, no, bathroom. <laughs> You're all... I am in one job. <laughs> to not get in the suit until you've already gone to the bathroom. Uh Not even surprised. It's like, wait, oh, uh, never mind. Empty that one. Not high priority. That just get the ball rolling here. I need one more tile worth of distance, but I'm going to give it two. Technically, I should really just let it fill, and then we can launch the rocket. Collected. We already refilled that with glass. Very good. Good job, dupes. Um, why, why do I see a dupe? Connect on the outside? No. Eh, weird. Weird, but alright. Marginal concern. You guys get the rubber done, you're dead. Okay, once this hits 17, 18, then we'll be good to go. Uh, we'll be dropping two rovers off, and then that we'll be heading right back immediately. It'll probably be another cycle and a half, I think. Nope. Think we hit our limit again. Means. Open the thing. Put the excess garbage water. Before the bathroom is fully back up. That would be bad. Uh. V84. It is progressing. Take a damage hit. There you have it. Actually, dropped the temperature. Hooray! <laughs> okay, let's, let's hope that continues. I would like all the lava to go away. It's gonna be a while. Dupes cannot stand on this at all. Anywhere that you see over a thousand, my dupes can't touch it by standing on it for long. They're, they can stand on a ladder until about like right here. Yeah. So rough. I 
Like, um, it's for the most part stabilized. I think we can get rid of this tile and it should be okay. Cruiser, why did you not do that? What? <laughs> Cruiser, no! What have you done? No words to express my disappointment in you right now. <laughs> uh, you've made a grave error in judgment. <laughs> uh, oh well. Time to grind another one. <laughs> I almost feel like I need to do a buffer chest or a buffer gate specifically for this thing to give it a little bit more delay to keep running. It's very tempting to just set it like 75 ish. just here to kill all the germs off that we have in our water system. It's, let's be clear here, there's there's a lot of germs in this water that we're using. <laughs> Six million. Which is expected. I mean, it's a polluted water vent. Everything in here is going to be polluted. That's why we clean it with chlorine. But that doesn't mean we have to wait for the chlorine to kill it. No, it does take a bit. Technically, it's not completely needed just because this is purely for our oxygen sink and polluted water and food poisoning germs in the water that goes into your system doesn't actually do anything. It just makes it so your base doesn't look like garbage. <laughs> That's really about it. It's an aesthetic thing at this point. So there's these small pink petals everywhere, then yellow that, the literal vomit. <laughs> If they were eating from this, yes, I would have to absolutely clean it every time. But being they're not, I don't really care as much. Just, I just don't like the look of it. <laughs> but, uh, Fifteen, and when we get the thing fully capped out, then we're good to go. Then I'll fill it up with food, have Gene take off, and we'll go land. Start building the next base. I think that'll be a good stopping point once we get that started. That'll probably be like two hours from now. At <laughs> the rate everything's going, it's probably going to be about maybe an hour to two hours. We get everything settled in. I'm mostly just waiting to see when this stuff starts turning into materials. And you see these little pieces and shards poking out. That means our job is going very well.
It does look like I have increased temperature a little bit, but not by much. This is always the issue with steam. You always want to add more mass, aka pump more water into the situation, just to get more steam to do its job. And speaking of extra water, I really need to put more in here. <laughs> 200 kilograms on the top now. Yeah, oh boy. Temperature in there now. Oh, nice green. <laughs> Never mind. Yeah, I'll definitely need to pump more water in. Um, need to wreck here. Something already connected? Yes, it is. Okay, good. Let me just, uh, Pack that up. There you go. It's as simple as that because I keep the water near the teleporter so we can send it through whenever we want. That may overload the system, but yeah, it should be fine. I'm confident that it can handle one pipe. 3,000. Um, I don't think you guys need it, but let me just double check. 200 tons. Tell him what are you running at? 300 tons as well. Pretty sure that would be triple. It needs it. Seventeen, yes. The fun going underground jungle and then underground corruption and get to the <laughs> Yep. It's really fun when you set it up with a bunch of uh rail tracks. One million kilocalories of mushrooms. Oh, radiation warnings we're dealing with. This radiation is brutal, so I assume bees. Like... 381. Ah, uh, soon, soon I'll have my nuclear reactor online again. Well, actually, technically, it'll be the first time it'll be properly online instead of testing. But very soon, I will have a stupid amount of nuclear waste. I don't need to guarantee. Two-thirds full, pretty much. Three-fourths. Move it over. Should be able to reach and come right back. Just barely.
Okay. Good. Look at our picture. Eight. Eight. Eight, okay, but we have an egg. That's kind of expected. Look at all the pips. Any of them. <laughs> uh, the one that's running around, which really shouldn't be. But that's done. We can finally touch down on the other planet. And I can rapid expand on it. Already down to 30 degrees. Five degrees. There. Okay, that's looking good. I do think I will switch this out for super coolant. We do have enough super coolant. I would just have to get it all over here. Which is going to be a pain in the butt. But it will actually work. Ugh. It's going to be a little rough. Just, just a little bit. I'll be very happy when we actually can do it. All of that is nine. All stuff five. Yeah, we're gonna do the stupid maneuver. Fuck it. <laughs> I, I really want to try this. I haven't done one of these in a while. the God's green earth did you get over there? You know what? Never mind. <laughs> like, I'm just going to ignore you for the time being. It's fine. It's fine. Yes, I am totally 100% teleporting my excess water and just dumping it on the other planet. Because <laughs> why not? be happy when I can get that temperature down to green. But I don't think that'll ever happen really for a long, long time. technically need to replace this door. I originally had it here so that the bees could get out and actually clean up the uranium. And they were doing a good job of it. 
It's just that as of late, we just haven't been doing that. There also hasn't been really any reason for my dupes to come down here, so I guess I could just allow them to do it. Now they're getting close. They're almost done. And dips just keep coming down and cleaning up their waste. Which is nuclear waste and highly enriched in nu <laughs> like nuclear uranium. Uh, it's beautiful. Giant little pow pillars of enriched uranium. Uh. How much nuclear waste in, in, uh, tapped away? Couldn't jump to this place, but the claim is to fly here. Yup, that happens. Organator! Thank you for the follow, man, and welcome. Prototypes just sleeping near the bees. <laughs> Damn it, you. Uh, if you're going to be moving nuclear waste, take your nap beforehand. And then come down and do it. <laughs> oh well. I'll be happy when this is finally fully cleaned up. I just have to wait on the bees to do it. Which is the hard part. We need to do this. That way when the bees do fully clean up every little bit of uranium ore on this planet will be good. Still gotta find Yeah, still gotta find the green cloud of uranium. Helium. I'll be happy once we find the uranium rocket location. Because then I can feed them an infinite supply of uranium, and I don't need to care anymore. <laughs> That'll be the best. Downside, whoever becomes the rocket pilot of that rocket is going to stay in that rocket pretty much indefinitely. Uh, they'll come down for food, and that's about it. Food, bathroom, basic anemones, and possibly a hot tub. And then I will be kicking them right back up in the rocket back along. I'll come. That's because I wanted to display some more of my O2 across my base. Doesn't feel right just being all on this side. How's the rocket doing? 16, we're actually there. I need to wait for it to get a little bit more full. Or we can take another launch and go d deposit those two rovers down. Order is refilling, very good. Very, very, very good. The temperature's looking. We're actually green now. We're not in the blues anymore. Hooray! You're gonna go search? Search what? Ah, I gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, definitely go find him. You're gonna need him. Oh, Cactus, you still have food poisoning. <laughs> uh, sorry, bud. Check, 128. Yeah, no, we're doing okay. Good to know.
Try to give a little bit more space for the steam to move through. Where the throughput can function better. We are dealing with really, really hot materials, and I'd rather not instantly flood the room with 1,500 degrees, or in this case, like 1,218 ish. Waiting for that stuff to actually start changing. Nice. Get that. So nice looking at that. 17 degree. 18 degree water. 20, 24, 30, 37, 45, 50. Nice. Yep. Ah, uh, super coolant. I love you. <laughs> it's so good. Ah, uh, super coolant is so dumb. I love it so much. Just way too efficient. Like, what base cooling is exactly what the temperature would be? Because <laughs> The temperature transfer on that stuff is insane. Okay, oops. Um, I'm just gonna force the issue here. It's taking way too long. They all have suits. One of you is actually deployed right now. Yep. He is just do 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 do. Come on, dupes, you can do it. We're gonna do the dumb, and that's perfectly fine. Hurry it up. No good food when you're done. Oh, you got one. God damn. That's the bigger problem. Over you, bathroom. Now. Food, not a problem. I have plenty of it. <laughs> A million fried mushrooms, then you've got a thousand cooked seafood, and they're good on food. They're good on oxygen. Problem. Soiling their suits. I know you guys are giving me the hungry warning. Doop. No way in hell. <laughs> Get back in there. Now. Ow! You literally cannot get up to what? Pencil, how in the hell are you getting out of there? Ah, oh, god damn it. Because the other ones were... I said the other ones, but I didn't say you. Uh, yeah, you also get the same Bathroom now, you idiots. <laughs> Empty those bladders so I know you're safe. Not torturing me with this. That.
There you go. As long as they don't piss their suits, they're fine. If they piss their suits, we're screwed. That is the immediate... Oh no! Oh crap! No, no! Brown alert! I repeat, brown alert! Uh... Hey, there, monkey. Welcome back. We had two dupes with full bladders. <laughs> had to do an emergency bathroom run. Come on, guys. Wait up. You know the dangers of a 40% stress increase for three cycles. Spoiled suit debuff. <laughs> we don't mess with that one. One of the few debuffs I actually care about. And three, two, one. Down you go, dupes. Okay, now for the fun part. How much cable can I run? <laughs> It'd be right there, I think. Hold off for a second. We will need electrical engineering for this. But I definitely need to build a rocket platform. Being we're just slightly below our power requirements, I'm going to build a power tower real quick. Not really real quick, but you know what I mean. They're slightly more efficient than solar panels, but uh, just slightly. your food at. Oh, you're okay. I do feel a little bad for Pencil here, but yeah, they'll be okay. It's going to take a bit. Seventeen tiles still. I'm waiting for that to just fill up. And we'll punch it on over. We'll be dropping ro two rovers over here in Ikellen. And we'll start shredding the planet. It's time. Uh, Dupes, can you please finish this pipe? No, oh, air duct. Probably disable this again for just a little bit. Prevent that CO2. I have to keep my eye on it every so often. I don't feel like wiring up a um, uh, atmosphere sensor all the way up here and wiring it all the way the hell down here just to run this thing. <laughs> That's like, eh, we'll just manually hit the button every so often. No biggie. Could totally automate it though, if you wanted. I do not care. Also, IR, we have finally breached into the magma chamber. We've converted most of it into material tiles. Pretty good. Raw minerals. Beautiful. Yep. Slowly punching through it. 
Temperatures have stabilized pretty steadily. I'm starting to see some more. That is going up. Seems to be fluctuating a lot, but then again, we are dealing with, you know, 1,100 to 2,400 ish temperatures. Oh, he also slid a fight over here. Very good. Finally. Now we're just draining the energy from it. Ever so slowly, we'll get this thing cleaned up. And then I will have my delicious, delicious sulfur ready. That's going to be a massive pain in the butt. <laughs> oh, man. I'll be happy when it's ready. So nice. Also, I'll finally have solar panels in this place. Hooray! <laughs> I can stop worrying about draining power and doing all of those kind of stupid things. I am reflooding the system right now with excess water that we're originally pumping into space. How much extra water do we have laying around? Still half a tank over here. There's a backup tank. Ah, oh, it's fine. Toilets is getting to halfway. Good. That's pressure check. Fine. Chip check. Technically seven because there's an egg. Oh. How's the temperature in here now? I had to rejig this a bit because we were <laughs> we were way too cold again. <laughs> Super coolant is a hell of a drug. <laughs> Seriously. Negative 45. Oof. Love me some super coolant. That was amazing. Yeah, once this thing really starts going, I'm going to lower the temperature on this. For now, I think we're good. Yeah, I need to pump that as well. Lots and lots and lots of CO2. So good. Make that out of gold. efficiency wise does about what these do in this much space and you can kind of stack them side to side to side to side and they definitely kind of break the game even with the nerf that happened to them and you still technically can totally do this but yeah <laughs> it still technically breaks the game this one I believe will only have like one percent of what the rest will get you can totally just tower these things in, no problem. Jump, go to nine, and the wise should be. There you go, you got your skill point. Good job. 
Now we could do the stupid things. <laughs> uh, this will be fun. We need to make sure that we can leave. Yep. Congratulations. You can now build my giant power tower. <laughs> and we don't have to care. Because this will be great. Obviously, the biggest issue is, is that they cost the same amount of glass as a regular solar panel, but they're tinier and barely put out as much energy, but you could stack them. So, kind of results in much more space when you're dealing with small maps. Originally, these things would actually just allow light to go through them completely with no resistance whatsoever, which means that you could just stack them all the way up to space. They were completely broken. Uh, oh, that was a thing in the past. Thankfully, that's not the case anymore. Pretty much 10 and you're done. 100% max that out and get them going. The rocket. Go faster. Generate more nuclear waste faster. God damn it. Uh you know screw it. I'm just gonna power that door to make it faster so my dupes can get in here. <laughs> I'm getting annoyed. Oops, are holding up pretty well. That's always good. That one's only 200... How did that happen? Weird, but okay. How are you only 298 and the other one's 800? Uh, confusion? Just a bit. I know, full on it. Oh, damn it. <laughs> Run! Leah, run. I need, to I need you to get to about there. Okay, good. I can do this. Also, you cannot escape. <laughs> you are not to escape. I make myself clear. Make it to the bathroom. Ow. Run. Run, duplicate. Run. Come on, come on, come on. Yes. Safe. <laughs> we are safe. Oh, man. Local kitchen menace, critter aversion. Nope. Small bladder. Don't really care with only tidying, cooking, and digging. We will take the Sweetle. Um, I need to take it over. Oh, this is the only place that they will be able to survive effectively. But we keep kind of getting more and more Sweetles. <laughs> got trapped in where? 
just because you finished your bathroom duty. There you go. We're all good now. Yeah, what, what's your food at? Oh, you're at three... 2,800 kilocalories. You are fine. I know you're hungry, but you are fine. Do your job, and you'll be good. The base's power depends on the power tower. Now hurry it up. <laughs> Which also means the ability to cook. Even though we have tons in the fridge, if you want a warm meal, then make sure that you get this done, buddy. Come on. Come on. Almost there. Dips, you can do it. I believe in you. Another one. Come on. Right now it's making 80, 21, 24, 27. And I can just keep going up. And I can have another one right next to it. You do the same thing. Even in their nerve state, there's still more space efficient. They're just not resource efficient. But in this case, I just need power, so I don't care. <laughs> Oops, get it done. You can see how each solar panel slowly reduces the amount of light coming through it. Bottom we're at almost 15. Up uh, 3,000. Uh, you need a refinery. And then once you've gotten the refinery, then it will poop out the resources as actual resources. And then you sell them.
when it comes down to mining, you need a refinery, you need limpets, you need a storage contain, you need storage space, and obviously mining lasers or bombs, any of the above. And a fuel scoop. That's like bare minimum. I mean, it should just be consumable as, one, as long as you have a limpet controller. You really only need limpets in larger ships. They're little, little rocket drones that'll fly off and grab resources for you and bring them to your ship. They used to have a nasty habit of crashing into you and exploding. So, but as far as I know, I believe they've fixed it mostly. Oh, if you have a controller, then they should just be consumables in every station. Where you get ammo. Ready to wake up. Okay, dips. Second round, go. <laughs> get it done. It needs as much power from as little space as humanly possible. Right up. No problem. I know what's going on, mostly causing the issue. Let me just highly pressurize this area with a basic vent. If that works. Excess oxygen can just go into the area instead of being stuck in the suits. So hopefully free up space. Fully out. 18! We're so close to full, it hurts. Oh, yeah, it's an old broke. Oh well. You guys good on your bladder? 32%. Hooray! I don't have to worry about it too much. Where are the other dupes? On your one away. There it goes. One, two. And, yep, and that's the last one. Means I can pretty much remove the top one. I can make another stack.
There we go. It's about 27 tiles. Twenty-one tiles. It's pretty much about what two thirds the size for a little bit more power than three of these. <laughs> Slightly. I hate the fact that this works, <laughs> especially when it was not brought like completely broken. Uh, like right now, it's like, yeah, it's slightly more space efficient. Not resource efficient, but it's definitely space efficient. I think the dumb thing is, is technically I can take this. And I can put it... Right here. And... Here, and I can build two more towers, and it will pretty much do exactly the same thing as the. Oh no, they didn't make it. They were so close. They're in the toilet. Dupe, you were this close. <laughs> Damn it! Why? Uh, why? <laughs> you almost had it. We were so close to the toilet. That hurt. That actually hurt to see. <laughs> you made it to the bathroom, you went for the door, and you pissed yourself. <laughs> so close. I'll build two more, and then that'll be it for the power station. To be honest, I could probably just stick them right here and not have to care too much, but for right now, this should be fine. I can always just dismantle them and rebuild them somewhere else. And hopefully, that will take care of the primary base spine power situation. It also gives me access to three large rocket batteries. These things are beefy. 100 kilojoules worth of energy with no burn. Versus 20 kilojoules with 50 DTUs worth of burn. <laughs> Another one over here. A couple small ones here and there. Now this should hopefully be enough juice that I don't have to care of too much. It's rare for me to build power towers, but when we're dealing with such small maps, it's like, you know what? Yeah, screw it. Why not? We have the resources. Besides, it gives you guys something to actually enjoy when you're like, oh, you can do that? Yeah, you can. I don't really have to worry about it too much. Nine per tower. Come on, you Phil. Waiting on you guys. Three seventy-two. I can break below two hundred, and then this should off-gas itself. When I see this water is gone, which that is not water, that is two hundred and fifty-nine point seven degrees centigrade water, aka that is in, that's like super state water. <laughs> if that touches oxygen, that would explode. Uh, God, it instantaneously flashed to steam and explode. 
not want to be anywhere near something like that. Even in a suit made of whatever God's green earth these things are made out of. Again, venting. Off. Need to get the systems. Need to check. Yep, that's still a problem. I need to deconstruct this one. And deconstruct. Oh, it stops temperature transferring from the industrial brick inside and the outside, aka living corridors. Bridges like to do that. I don't like bridges when they do that. Bad things happen. Stuff melts. We did not, even though I was like, <laughs> uh, if anyway, so screw it. Dupes, get rid of it. Yep. Okay, this side should stop turning yellow on me. It'll take a couple cycles, but that should be able to be done. Because it's leaking some of the temperature out, which I don't want to do because every ounce of energy in that room is important. You know what? I think we can go now. Ask yes, for it. Let's do it. Uh, pickled meals. Dang, get your butt over here. We have work to do. Do we want to drive right next to it, or do we want to like literally point right at it? Eh. You know what? Um, we'll go there. Two more rounds of fuel, and then we should be good. To go. Probably. Oh god. Dean, you good? Okay, side. Lock you in through. Come on, you. Fire. 48. Come on. Nine. Come on, buddy. 29 and. Want as much fuel as humanly possible. I know we're okay to go, but I just I want to make sure. Come on, dude. Every ounce matters. And bunk. Charge in time. Killing. Nineteen fuel, right on the dot. End launch sequence. 
We didn't punch it. Radiation, go! Oh god. Nope. Nope. <laughs> you are turning around right now. <laughs> okay, now you can come back. <laughs> it was very much a don't you even think about it, dupe. I know it's toasty. You're currently in a cloud of radioactive fallout. You'll be fine. <laughs> I can't believe it. He's like, I'm gonna just come running all the way over here. It's like, dude, no! <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Don't do it. <laughs> Don't do it. Oh man, that was funny. I probably need to vent this oxygen. That's 126 degrees because of the nuclear launch. Oh, God. That's hot. <laughs> That's really hot. Okay, bud. You are going to be in here for a while. Gonna take you 2.8 cycles to get to orbit around Ikelin, then 2.8 cycles to get back. No idea, cruiser. At least I think I read that right. Okay, I'll start giving up this when he's gone. The water situation. Anything more water? Nope, oh, we're out. No, we're out until we aren't. <laughs> yep. Just as I spoke. Of course. I guess. Build. Yep. Well, that's a great success. E69. Nice. Check. Then you go down. Good. Yeah, we were leaking temperature due to the uh, bridges from connecting in here to outside, causing a problem. There you go. All the all the fish quests are done now. <laughs> nice. Massive as per usual. 
just ah, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, I Very soon we'll be able to last all night, but it is not there yet. Should hopefully not impede the light on this one. Because I know that the rocket platforms don't do it on the side. Right on point. Yep. That won't impede these. Yes, I could probably speed it. Yeah, I could have actually scooted this over by one. <laughs> that would have actually been, still worked. Big question is, will this imp get impeded from this or not? I don't think it should. But we'll have to wait and see. It would be funny if it doesn't. Because right here will be unimpeded. So I'm gonna like does that count? <laughs> if it does, that's great. <laughs> if it doesn't, damn. <laughs> I'll have to wait and see though. Very interesting to find out. Dr. Giovanni. Have a good breakfast. I will hopefully see you on Monday. Because, yeah, this will be the last stream of 2022. I have two parties I'm getting dragged to technically Thursday, Friday night, and then and Friday morning. And then Saturday night, or sorry, Friday night into Saturday morning. I will have no time to stream whatsoever. <laughs> we will be returning to normal on Monday. But for now, Giovanni, Happy New Year, bud. <laughs> Because I won't be able to say that until then. Yep. Yeah. 
here. It's slowly cooling down. It'll take a while. So nice staying this though. This was all lava. All of it. All materials. Upload of steam. Not as much as what I had to use to clear my central core, but definitely quite a bit. Boy. We'll be able to do that. Cooking, researching. But you have nothing going for you, Otto. <laughs> Damn you, printing pod. Good interest. Terrible trade. Not terrible. Not sleeper. I'll take the iron. Base. There we go. Go to the bathroom. <laughs> Just pop back and see a bathroom warning. Bathroom machine. Go. What are you doing? I'm going to remove this plastic tile and stick over in. That should provide a little bit more flow. One tile is never good. I'm assuming jeans are the end of oxygen on the suit. Yep. It'll be fine. I'll just breathe from the actual box. Yep. Oh. Another petroleum shot coming in. I'll be there in two cycles. And we'll drop both rovers and then head back. And the fun begins. Building a new base. Again. <laughs> oh, man. Also, finding the plant. That'll be the big one. Thankfully, all of this is diggable by the uh, rovers, so I don't really have to care too much. I think we're going to land over here in this corner. I mean, look how tiny this planet is. Ugh, man. It's definitely a really hard start to go with. Uh... I'll have to dig in like that. Probably shrink the entry point. Yeah. Fishing begins. Yes, it does. And <laughs> we'll land here and here. Nice. Yeah, we'll land here and here, and then we'll go in. That's where our rovers will inject and dig through. the temperatures over here. This one space heater is trying everything in its power to heat warm up this one little zone. Uh, at least it's not negative three anymore. Still had a lot more to go, but I just didn't get it done. I need to send the dupes back. Three hundred eighty-six point six kilograms of food. Most of it is pocket bullets, which is good. What it should be, to be honest. Because this is my automated food system. <laughs> okay, let's. See. What else do we have to worry about? Well, the Sixers are eating plenty. 
is getting vented into space. Right now, how is the temperature up here? I am actually surprised that hasn't melted. Impressive. This is just not enough. Not enough heat. Why? Yeah, yeah. Barely not enough. Not done here anyway. That's 159. That's 147. Up here's 170. So, 171. This would definitely melt it. But thankfully this one down here isn't. We have broken past 369 into 366.5. I approve. We're getting closer and closer to having a fully functioning nuclear reactor again. Yay! This time I won't have to worry about the core to cool down. Which is great. It only took almost 2,000 cycles to get a nuclear reactor in a magma core completely cleaned out. I take that as an absolute win. <laughs> It'll probably be like 1,800 before it's fully finished, but at least the nuclear reactor should be online before seven. Yeah, 1,700, hopefully. That's the plan, anyway. Yep, still stalling out at night. I probably do need to tap this hydrogen gent. Like, just as a whole. Keep looking at the vent and I'm like, eh, maybe, maybe not. Because all of this would have to become obsidian, I would need to put steel and then cool down the steel in between with a steam turbine box. It's a whole thing that needs to be done. It would pretty much require about yay big. I'd have to scoot all of this stuff out of the way. Could probably lower the Atmos suit dock down here. Get all this down, claim that area. Yeah, I could probably. Nice to staying in line. So that would so. Yeah, like that. So in all honesty, I kind of want to bring it down even further. Other than this neutronium. Oh, it's not. Ladders. Boom, boom. Yep. There lies my problem. 
I don't even think I can dig right now. I feel like that this would probably be a good just setup to get started with it. I'll just have this all nice and pre-planned. I'll set it for you know what nine. I was thinking maybe eight, but yeah, screw it. Nine will that'll work. But we'll get all that replaced back in there, and then it should be good to go. I will need a ladder point though. That'll kind of get in the way. And again, this temporary anyway. This cable needs to actually go this way. <laughs> Good luck, Cruiser. Make sure that's cleaned up so that way my dupes can get through. And yeah, I think that's everything. Mmm. Yeah, that is everything. Okay, so that's all pre-planned, so I don't worry about it. This planet will come back to you eventually. Sorry, Jane. 1.3 cycles. You're almost there. Definitely catch your breath, buddy. You're gonna need it. V64. Ah, oh, we're getting closer. We're getting so close to the nuclear reactor vent room. Soon! So very soon. Damn it. I don't even want to think about the water wall yet. So we're just going to ignore it. <laughs> I can keep looking at it and it's just like... I, I'm... Yeah, we'll deal with you later. <laughs> you are a pain in the butt. I need copious, I do mean copious, amounts of igneous rock to deal with that planet. At the moment, I do not have that. Hmm. I was thinking on it. We'll need to tap that chlorine then. Properly. <laughs> oh, I need squeaky puffs. I need them badly.
Oh, no. <laughs> oh, man. I just need to push the rads up to well over 100,000 rads in one tile, and then we'll be fine. And then I can shoot all the nuclear rockets I could ever want. The rest of these guys can just fire into the diamond press in this wall. Eventually, I will probably just stick a red bolt drain plate and shoot the red bolts that way. We don't need them anymore. I gotta get to that point. Off it goes. I don't even have that many power draining systems that are online at once. Just that we're just not able to carry as much battery juice as I need. Which is a problem, but it's not the worst thing in the world. Definitely get two more power towers online. I don't have to think about it after that. I do you want to test this lab though? I want to see if this counts or not. Counts, that's fantastic. Don't do. Five, zero, six, and climbing. How you doing, Jane? Oh, you're doing fine. Your water. Oh, you're dead. Plenty of oxygen back up in storage. That's that's plenty. How close are you? 0 0.6 cycles. Yep, we'll be able to get the the drovers down tonight. Very good. I'll be dropping one right here. We'll clean that up and drop the second one right next to it. And we'll send Gene home. We can have the rovers explore that place. And also start getting stuff set up. We gotta find the water on it, if there is any. That'll be the main play here. We have infected the infectious polluted oxygen vent. Thankfully it's not the super hot one, which means we can actually utilize this one. And then obviously we have our tungsten volcanoes and chlorine gas vent. Which means we can actually put a hot tub there and not have to import chlorine, aka bleach down. I'm actually really happy that whoever handed him a balloon is right. Pretty sure you're not a balloon artist? Yeah, you're a sparkle streaker. Yeah, somebody handed him a balloon before he left and I'm like, you know what, that, that's pretty good. <laughs> Job dupes. Ah, oh, I didn't get the he didn't get the autopilot off. Jane, you at 34%. I know you're trying to sleep right now, but I need you to get in the seat. Actually, I need you to catch your breath. He doesn't want to. Oh, God damn it, Gene. Come on, man. Catch your breath. There you go. 50% stamina. Come on, buddy. <laughs> you want the trove update out? That's fair. I damn it, dude. 
I need you here. <laughs> Come on, dupe. I believe in you. Piloting is now at 20. It's 18 in skill plus 2 from the actual skill itself. I should be able to get him to 22 as of current. Help me to catch his breath, though. Dupe, don't do that. Yeah, I was gonna say, you... Yep, there you go. Do that first. <laughs> Come on, buddy. You can do it. There you go. And so it's at zero point nine before. Wait for him to finish. There we go. Good job, Gene. Zero point three. Solid work. Have a fifty percent rocket speed. Really nice. He's doing me proud. I'll be parking it next to the planet, dropping off two rovers, and then getting the heck out of there. Okay, dudes. How goes construction? It goes. Okay. Uh, first things first. Battery box. And solar panel. And as we get more glass, more solar panels up to nine. I'm so gl glad we have so much gold. <laughs> it's like, yes. Uh, the industrial cooler doing its work. Big downside, obviously, is the sheer amount of power draw this thing has. We are reclaiming about 60% of it. But, uh, yeah, it's rough. Definitely rough. Oh, nice. I'm actually building up the uh, framework for what we'll need in the future. Good job, dupes. So much more stuff back. 84 seconds. Soon. I'll have to deploy one rover, wait for it to touch down, then deploy the second one, and I will make a save just in case right before we do it, because this can still get glitchy. You can have duplicates just disappear when you do Trailblazer modules if you launch them too quickly. They don't die. The game never registers they're gone. It's just... They disappear from existence. It can happen to rovers too. Nope. Oh. I didn't make it worse. Yep. Nope. Oh. <laughs> You're catching your breath. That's fair. There you go. I can, hear the, I can hear the beeping of the autopilot. <laughs> and... Twenty seconds. Good job, bud. Eleven. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three, two, one, and there we go. Orbit. Rocket in orbit. Confirmed. Bring that one down. Oh, Mr. Rover. Our primary objective. Mine that immediately. Thank you. And deploy the other one. Change 
pause, save here, in case we don't want to randomly lose a rover, that would be bad. It'd be worse if it was a dupe, it'd be bad if it was a rover, because I need both of them to actually clear this planet quickly. Just drop a save real fast. Yeah. Never take this risk without saving. Planetary landings are still a wee bit glitchy. There it goes. Coming down. Quick land. Okay, we have successfully landed two rovers. Gene, immediately 180 this bad boy. There you go. Okay, on the, you're on your way back. Let's see what we can build. Oh, we can build a fire pole, but I'm pretty sure, yeah, that <laughs> requires dupes. Uh, let's see, let's see. Also, it does not require dupes. Got laying around. A bunch of super coolant laying around. Ethanols. We're going to need a lot of these. Water if we need it. Case. That's mostly just fluids that I sent over. Okay, rubbers. Let's do this. Just pick up the rest of this so I know that we have enough materials. guys. Make sure I liquid lock this so we can lock in the polluted oxygen, which we may, well, not may, but we will need it. Useless machine. Hmm. Oh, button with the one switch. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Good. Yep. Okay. 
Just enough fuel. Oh. An extra two tiles ish. <laughs> uh it'll be fine. Actually, I think we'll drain this pool all the way down. Something there. It's a good sign. We can't punch through a bisolite, so we're pretty much trapped there. Can't really dig through that. But I can at least uncover most of this and get the base at least somewhat ready for launching. And pre plan a bunch of other stuff. We'll probably build the living quarters right here. Maybe power station down here. Light panels up here with a primary spine. Alright. Yeah. We'll do a primary spine right here. I'll probably only have, like, two dupes here to deal with feeding this damn thing. I'm pretty sure this is Experiment 52B. This thing's it's big enough to be the room. That's a landing spot. Yeah, something like that. That'll do. Good job, rovers. Okay, that should be properly measured. Fun with that thing is that. Wanna scoot this down by one maybe? I'm just trying to measure this out real quick. Now, if I scoot it down by one, then we have a problem. If I scoot it up by one... We also have a problem. Well, kind of. You know what? Um... Oh, fuck it. We'll go up by one. Why not? Any rovers? Without the intrusion on this. 
I can't move neutronium, so it's kind of like I can move everything else. I can't move neutronium. So we're kind of stuck with that. And that puts me in line with that one. Yes, it does. No idea what that is, but that'll do. In line to do that and that. Okay. Is the rocket trip back? Eh, it's going okay. Not great. Just, just, just barely survivable enough. Temperature check. Lab's doing okay. It's goddamn cold. Temperatures are stabilizing even more. Very good. Three fifty-eight. Looking good. And I am content with that. I will say this, the sun's starting to come out, but it's very slow. So, I think we're okay for just a little bit longer. At least for tonight. Mostly need to claim this resource here so we can continue building. I am going to up this here. And that upper strip. Definitely need that one. Can be waited on. That can be waited on. Just, just finish that one, bud. And yeah, always send rovers in pairs. They just work great. Shred all of that. This up. We have some Paco.
That's just set up for everything. I'll just make, help me get this done. Probably need to clean out this entire area here. Oh. This is a frozen core. This is a frozen core. Hooray! <laughs> uh, well, I don't need to worry about the water now. I just need to worry about getting heat here. Uh, yeah, it's a negative 100. But, uh... Yep. <laughs> Frozen cores are always good. Lots and lots of water. There's something in there with four more vent, vent, vent. I don't think volcanoes spawn on fours, but it could totally be them. Should be a tungsten volcano somewhere. little resources to work with here. I do need to deconstruct the rovers. shell here so that way the radiation can come in here and kill all the slime lung. Oh man, I'm gonna need to eradicate the hell out of that. Good news, the living quarters will be mostly irradiated so I don't really have to worry about it too much but uh, you know, all of this needs to go poof. Just a little bit longer. As duly noted, the sun is coming up, and that is always the indicator for me to stop soon. It's been a good nine hour stream. <laughs> Thanks, Kuzer. Yeah, I will see you guys when we finish up here, including for YouTube. I will see you guys technically next year. Because <laughs> by the time that you guys see this, it will be uploaded on Sunday. Uh, and, uh, yeah, Monday will be the next actual full stream. So, yeah, Happy New Year, Cruiser. The radiation do its thing. 
die. <laughs> Going at a fifteen percent rate is actually dying at a twelve percent. Tells me it needs more radiation. <laughs> and make sure I clear these, clear the landing site, so that way we can put down trailblazers right here. I just need to bathe this planet in radiation to get rid of all the slime lung. Because <laughs> I'm not dealing with it this time. On such a small map, screw that. Just remove the upper crust and let the radiation do its work. The true way to purge problems. Obviously it only works when you have access to space. Definitely works. Pocket to go down this way. Problem, this will probably overfill. Probably need to remove that. Ah, radiation. Dying yet? 25% exposed rate, 15% spawn rate. Good. Perish. <laughs> Exterminatus. Eat space radiation germs. As long as I can kill the upper crust, I think we'll be fine. There's buddy buds. They exist. Hooray. I have a weapon against the germs. That's not radiation, of course. That's just the benefit. Okay, all well, that's been ripped up. Liquid lock is solid. Nothing else needs to be cut in from inside. a very good start. Especially seeing Experiment 52B is like right in the center of the map. And he's not behind all the abyssal light, which is great. We'll do those last. I need to do those that first, that second, 
that all needs to be done, and that needs to be seven. Sixteen sixty. These guys finish up this little bit. I think we're good. Oh, they've got plenty of chemical battery power left. I'll definitely last for another episode. I'm pretty content with that. Let's have to dig out all of this, flood this in, flood that in, flood that one in, and dig our way through over here, map out this little zone over on this side. Ah, there's our tungsten volcano. There he is. I don't know what those are. They might also... One of them. Um... 1,726.9. It's beautiful. It's just hot as hell. <laughs> uh, great. Well, that'll be fun. <laughs> yep, that'll, that'll be fun. <laughs> Excavating and setting up and then cooling it down and then shipping it off planet. Oh, that's going to suck. <laughs> oh, well. For now, drop a save here. Save 1660. Oh, I'm glad we finally made it to High Kellen. All the prep in the world. Two rovers, everything's going smoothly. Pretty good. Ah. Oh. I'm content with that. But yeah, as Lily noted, this playthrough will continue, obviously, into 2023. And hopefully we will be done in January. That's kind of the hope. At least for me, anyway. And the main reason being is, is that we do have a new update that just came out. And there's probably going to be more by the time that we actually finish this. I don't know if I will ever do the radioactive planet again. Only because this one sucked. <laughs> Not for the lack of trying, but just because of how little space that we actually had to work with. And then all the over-engineering that had to be done because of it. But, for now, I think that's everything. <sighs> At least for this episode, anyway. And yeah, for everyone out there, on Twitch, here in chat, and also for anyone in the VODs, or on YouTube. Happy New Year. Because again, I won't be seeing you guys until after that.